Hey everyone, Techni here with a mouse review, and the mouse we have today is ever so popular BenQ Zowie EC2B. Let's take a look at it real quick. Alright, so as far as those close-ups, what did you think? Honestly, please let me know down in the comments what you thought right there. Me personally, I love it. There's no fluff, there's no RGB going crazy on this thing. What you're getting is a crisp, just solid product that just has such a fantastic shape right here and you really feel the quality in your hands. Talking about that shape, it is 120 millimeters long right here, 40 millimeters tall right on the hump right there. Speaking of that right there, just kind of jumping ahead a little bit, this is a great really really nice uh, palm grip uh, mouse right here and it fits fantastic in your hands right at the front here you have 33 millimeters on the tail end it's 64 millimeters and right here in the middle it is 61 millimeters now this mouse also does come in a larger variant too which I'm pretty excited to try out I'm definitely gonna scoop it up and uh, try it out but again with me having medium to large hands talking shape here still this one just fits really really nice I mean it's as you saw in the close-ups right there Right here, as you see it kind of bows out right on the uh, front right here and you kind of have that back hump to rep rest your hand on, you might be see better that way. There you go, so right back here, you have that back hump, right? So it kind of goes back there in your palm, right back here rests on it. When some mice, they kind of swoop in right down there and you kind of get down and you grip into it, you know, which are nice, very nice for uh, first person shooters actually. But why I like this shape, let me go and bring this over here. As some of you know, I'm a really, really big fan of the Rival 310. As you can see, you can see it a lot better on the 310 since it has a grip over there. But same thing, your hand just goes right down there and kind of just rests on it. So it's kind of nice, you got a little ledge over there to rest on which is the exact same with this guy. The thing I like about this, and what I was trying to do, uh, getting away from the 310, is I want something just a pinch smaller, you know? And I feel like this really uh, nails that size right there, because I can kind of get into some action, or I can just, you know, play a nice story game, and my hand almost just like, I mean, it just sinks into this thing. Like, I try to get my hand off, I'm like, ah, Jiminy! Good night, the thing's stuck on there, you know what I mean? I mean, it's so stinking comfortable. And that's the other thing I like about it too. Right here at the front, as you can see, you have a little bit more right up there where you said it was 33. So it's real nice. You're kind of, your fingers just kind of go down and rest right there. And then right on the side also, your hand just rests right down on it. It's just, again, medium to large hands. And I have the smaller variant here and it's just, I mean, seriously, I mean, it feels so good. It's so hard to explain because it's just, almost a perfect shape and again like me saying I was trying to get something smaller than the 310 I still am really excited to try the bigger one of this and just see how it fits in my hand now talking a little bit about performance and actually this will kind of go into that comfort a little bit as well as you can see the finger grooves up there you have slight indentions and they're very mild and you know in the camera it looks like it really drops off big time on the side right over here but it really doesn't it just goes in the shape of your hand it's honestly perfect but again when I was looking online and I'm sure as you see in the camera you're like Oh wow, well, that's gonna be uncomfortable. Look how high it is over here and short it over there. But it's really not, I'm telling you. It just goes perfectly with your hand right there. But again, it's really nice. You got those very, very mild indentions right there and it just puts you in perfectly. And as we did the sound test earlier, you saw the clicks were very nice and precise and you really heard them, nice and crispy. That scroll wheel is, is uh, here, here, let's do it one more time. I mean, the scroll wheel, it's not like, you know, I, I watched some other reviews and read some things and people say, oh man, this scroll wheel is just absolutely horrible. It's pretty annoying. It really is annoying. It's not like a deal breaker. It's not going to say, oh, hey, let me not use this mouse, but 
it is mighty annoying, especially when, even in gaming, just anything, it feels, you know what it exactly sounds like? You ever put like a, uh, what do you call it, like a card in the back spoke of a, of a bike or something, you know? That's exactly what it sounds like, and yes, it does get pretty annoying. Now this next point here may be personal preference, because honestly, I didn't even notice it when I was playing No Man's Sky, or playing some Far Cry. It's only whenever I started playing some Battlefield 5 that it really stood out to me, and that is the travel within the side buttons. Now the side buttons are placed very well, you can really decipher them, but again, there's a, a fair amount of travel. I'm not sure if the camera can even pick it up right here. Let's see. There you go. So you can see when it starts registering. And it's not even that, like you can press it in and it registers, but the crazy thing, after it registers, there's so much more travel, like the buttons go within the mouse. Like, let me let me see if we can catch this on the camera here. So yeah, see, it's so hard to see on the camera, but anyways. So again, I go back to the side button saying, is it a deal breaker? And I gotta say no, not at all. Because again, I play a lot of story games, probably more story games than multiplayer games, you know? Uh, definitely more story games than multiplayer games, you know? But um, I mean, the shape and everything else is so fantastic. The side buttons, you don't know when you're just playing a nice, a uh, slow paced story game, you know what I mean? And again, I'm super excited to get and test out the larger variant right there. If it was that bad, I wouldn't even touch the larger one. You know what I mean? So again, it's not a deal breaker, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Now the USB cable on this mouse is rubberized right there. And I honestly prefer the rubber ones over the uh, braided cables. It's real nice. They don't really drag and kind of catch on your mouse pad right there. You know, they just kind of glide on it. Now the cable is fairly light, but as you can see right here, I mean, you know, maybe it needs a little bit of breaking or something because it feels honestly just like the 310. Now, Talking to the bottom of the mouse here, as you can see, it has those four little feet on the corners right there, and then that one slide right in the middle right there. And I was kind of curious, like I was looking at a line, I was like, man, am I gonna get a lot of drag with those things? It's just those tiny ones right around there. But honestly, let me tell you what, just using this guy, I mean, it is butter stinking smooth. I mean, it is so nice. I mean, just, I mean, just look at this guy right here. You don't get any of that drag sound or anything. Now speaking of those feet right on the bottom with the glide and everything, in your box, they give you a whole slew of replacement feet right there. I mean, how stinking cool is that? You know, you are set with this. Now also speaking of the bottom of this mouse here, and this is one thing I really love about it, no software, none. Take it out of the box, plug it in your PC, and you are set right i mean that's just me personally i love that i'd prefer to use no software you know what i mean but it's so cool you have your report rate button right over here and over here you have your dpi button as you can see right here the one on the left and it changes colors as you change your dpi the increments are 400 800 1600 and 3200 right there and again you just press it right there it's nice because it's not on top so you don't get any accidental presses and again you get a color notification down there when you're changing it now some may be thinking well that's a stinker i can't really customize Maybe I want to use 650 or something. You know, and me personally, I'm usually a 500 or a 550 DPI. So I, when I go to 800, as crazy as it sounds, I'm all over the place. It's an absolute mess. You know what I mean? I'm a lower DPI kind of guy. But anyway, so I put it on the 400. At first, it felt a little bit slower. So I had to get into my games and kind of dial my game up just a pinch. You know what I mean? But again, I would rather have this way than using software all day long. And again, with those preset DPIs, I think you're pretty set. Again, set it on the lower one, raise it up a pinch in your game if you need be, or set it on the 800 and drop it down a pinch if you need be, you know what I mean? It's just, again, no software, plug and play, I love it. Now also speaking the bottom of this mouse here, it uses a 3360 sensor. I, I've really never talked sensors because again, as I stated before, I've only tested one mouse before that's had a bad sensor. And if it's a bad sensor, then I'll bring it up. But again, as me playing with this guy, spot on. I mean, it was just absolutely precise and it worked absolutely perfect. Now, the other thing that might be crossing your mind is the price on this guy. I picked this thing up on Amazon and it was 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks. I do think that's a little bit steep. I really do. But again, why do I think that's a little bit steep? Because it doesn't have RGB? I don't know, because it doesn't have software? Are we just branded that way and kind of just molded that, hey, it needs RGB and it needs software to have a higher price tag? Again, you got a quality build right here. I mean, it's fantastic. It feels great in the hand. You have lightweight. I mean, everything's almost perfect minus the side buttons right there. But again, that's just when I was in first person shooters and in a story game, I didn't notice it, you know what I mean? The scroll wheel, sure, it's a little annoying, but it's not a deal breaker. I feel like you got a complete package here. Would I like to see the price lower? Yes. I'd like to see that 59 bucks. I think that'd be a perfect price. Then maybe catch it on a sale here and there. 
at the $70 price range uh, right out the gate, I think that's a little bit heavy, but still I think it's worth it. Again, I'm gonna buy the bigger variant right there at 70 bucks, and I'm just gonna feel like I get my money's worth. You know what I mean? So that, that's kind of where I put it. Sure, the price tag's high, but I think you're getting your money's worth. So all in all, that's honestly where I place this mouse right here. I place it on my desk. I really like it, I really do. Again, coming from the 310, I still, again, right here, I still have the 310. As you can see right here, the size difference, it's almost right there, but this one's just a little bit smaller, so you can kind of get that first person shooter, get a little more control out of it, you know what I mean? I really like it, I really, really do. Fix the side buttons, and we have perfection right here, you know? So yeah, I recommend it, I really do. Again, at that $70 price range, you know, if you're only able to pick up one mouse or something, just make sure you get the right size for you. That's all I can say. Make sure you get the right size for you because there's so many different options out there. You know what I mean? You don't want to be spending 70 bucks here and there. But hey, we're going to be reviewing so many more of them. I actually have the S1 on my desk I'm testing right now. I'll have the bigger variant of this. So if you want to know what your right size is for you, hey, hit that sub button because we're going to be reviewing a whole lot more of these and we'll find that right size for you. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.